I feel like I struck every time. We're not first or hard enough. Hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Monica, you might like giving food for thought, but you're a shitty cook. Welcome back to another movie coming into reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. Weather, weather movie, movie buds. buds. All right, so I know you guys were expecting Bring It On. Unfortunately, we found absolutely no way to stream it in Australia, which is big pain in the butt. So nobody wants our money for Apparently. this fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try and find the DVD, get back to it at another time. For the moment, we're doing Easy A. It's a really good movie. I've seen it. <laughs> wow. Solid. Yeah. Thanks for your input, bud. <laughs> That's the end of the video now. Easy A. It's really good. <laughs> So obviously Steph has seen this. I have not. I know very little about it. Literally nothing besides... Emma Stone's in it. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even realize I was Emma Stone. So you know this is like a teen movie, right? Yeah. Is, is it in high school? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was in college for some reason. Nah. I mean, it could have worked. No, this is the kind of bullshit that kids do. Okay. So Oh yeah, Amanda Vines is in this. Yeah, I do remember people mentioning that in the comments. Yeah. Somewhere. Lisa Kudrow too. Really? Yeah. Small role, but yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Thought she was going to be like maybe one of the teachers or something. The rumors of my promiscuity have been greatly exaggerated. I used to be invisible to the opposite sex. Pretty cutting edge stuff, huh? A high school girl feeling anonymous. Yeah, that's different. Never heard that story before. It changed pretty quickly when I started lying about some personal things. You know, I recognize a lot of the names in this. Yeah, Danny Tucci. Yeah, Ali Machalka I know as well. She was in iZombie. And what better way to share my private thoughts than to broadcast them on the internet? That's what most people do these yeah. days. Ahead of the time. I mean, shit, that's basically what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> that's right now. There are two sides to every story. This is my side, the right one. George is not a sexy uh, name. It's like there's multiple sides if lots of other people have opinions on it. What you name your teddy bear, not the name you want to scream out during climax. Same, but I don't say it out loud lest someone get the wrong idea. This guy's always the bad guy in a movie, right? No, he's good in this one. I've never seen him be a good guy before. Yeah, he's an all right bloke. Okay. Go hit the books. They don't hit back. Hugs, not drugs and any other cliches you can come up with. <laughs> they're all good. I like that he keeps it real. I also love that they're trying to sell Emma Stone as like unnoticeable. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. like, come on, man. Mismatch tires on your vehicle, which is non-existent. And here is where the trouble is. <laughs> it's better on you anyway. Why? <laughs> a couple weeks ago, she asked me to come camping with her family and I didn't want to go. Her parents are the weirdest people I have ever met. Oh. Okay. She got hippie parents? Yeah. Gotcha. I ate dinner at her house once and never again. <gasps> what the? Oh, okay. Oh. Lied and told her I couldn't go because I had a date with a friend of my brother's. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I do not blame her. There is no such thing as a sexy George, all right? George Clooney? I was just thinking Are that. you serious? Yeah. Isn't that like one of his defining traits? Yeah. Don't come camping with us. Just know I hate you, bitch. Go get your chocolate milk. His only defining trait. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's the defining trait. <laughs> Worst song ever. Why is it so important that it's Saturday morning? It just shows the weekend, what she actually did. Basically nothing. Yeah. That makes sense. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you not going to get over this song at any point? You know what it's like. You get one stuck in your head and just going to listen to it like every day for a few weeks. Not for a few weeks. I'll go through like one song for a few hours maybe, but not that over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> I love how she's just listening to it on the card over there. Yeah. But when Re asked me how my weekend was, he's charming. Feels like I got a love and I know that it's all mine. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> she's the lyrics. So are you going to see him again? Oh, nah, probably not. Yeah, you know, just one of those weekends. Wait a minute. You didn't have. No, of course not. You totally lost your V card to him. Re, hmm? I'm not that kind of girl. The fuck? What kind of girl are you talking about, man? I'm sorry. Just wanting to have sex is not a problem. Bitch a lot. It's not really a term of endearment. No, it's not. Now shit face. Fine. Oh no. Really? This is what I meant by this is the kind of stupid shit that only teenagers could do. Okay, I'm 100% <laughs> with you now. Yeah, it's a hundred percent something I would have done in high school. We did it. Yes. Oh no. Now yep. you're super slut like me. Okay. Whatever. This isn't about me. This is about you. Uh. Like, whoa. <laughs> it really is about you right now, but it's going to be about her real quick. Oh, yeah. What'd you let him do? I don't know why I did it, but I just started piling on lie after lie. Oh, no. Right, so her friend is not as invisible. Those kind, but they were, like, sexy. And also, there's this. 
Oh, yeah. This is definitely a bathroom. Oh, it's Amanda Bynes, Always right? check the stalls before you talk shit in a bathroom. Yeah, 100%. What the hell are you looking at? Just a couple of admitted whores. Also, yeah, going into the bathroom to tell your secrets to someone is not really a good I plan. I know. Mary Ann Bryant is the president of the Cross Your Heart Club, dedicated to shoving their beliefs down people's throats. Awesome. You gotta love those people. Last year's cause celeb was the changing of the school mascot. What? Give it up for your very own... Oh, shit. Oh. Blue Devil! <laughs> <laughs> he was in this. We're conveyed to others as Satan worshippers. Imagine if that's fucking pitchfork had to hit someone in the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woodchucks! The, the woodchucks? Yep. The woodchucks! Oh, yeah, that's um. Oh, that's really. Okay. I swear they just repeated the sound clip there. Yeah. I liked Todd much better when he was topless. He even dressed as a woodchuck. I still fantasize about it. <laughs> Fair enough. She dreams about Ooh. Oh. She dreams about putting that beaver in a beaver. Dude. <laughs> Which brings us to part two. Lies travel fast. But hold up. Like what grade are they in? I don't think it really matters. Maybe next time a certain somebody will be a little more careful what she says in the water closet. Is that what you call it? She's right though. Yes, but water closet? That's actually not what you think. Can I uh, talk to you alone for a second? You have to tell her. Either it's like everyone knows you are lying or everyone thinks you're telling the truth. Yeah. What you heard in the bathroom wasn't true. It's actually a funny story. Olive, that's your name, right? We've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Yeah, a bit late. Mm. If you count religion of other cultures, which you didn't because you called it science fiction and refused to go. Ooh. Jesus. Fucking wow. hell. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, obviously. Oh, God, I hope not. You've made your bed. I just hope that you've cleaned the sheets. Yeah, you're right. I don't want Tom Cruise approving of my behavior. That said, I know that he would never be able to judge me for anything. That's exactly my point. <laughs> if Tom Cruise is judging me, there's a problem. Yeah. Mary Ann <laughs> spread the rumor. You fucked up. <laughs> you fucked <laughs> yeah. up. Things are real bad. Yeah. My sexual exploits were the talk of the school. It was the second time. Todd and I were thrown together in seven minutes of heaven. Oh. I see. She always had a crush on the guy who was a mascot. This is the part where you're supposed to stick your tongue in my mouth. <laughs> so they used her voice for the... No? Yeah. Give me a second, okay? You have 382 of them. No. No. Okay, for a second there. If we didn't do anything, could you still tell people we kissed? I think there might have been a reason for this. Right. Absolutely. Thanks, Olive. When people thought I kissed someone, they didn't really care. But when they thought that I slept with someone... Hey, Olive. How's it going? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Uh... Swell. Guy I've never talked to before. Yeah. Now I'm a tramp. I'm gonna have to get a lower back tattoo and pierce something not on my face. Because he screwed one guy. Apparently, yeah. Uh. You guys know that I was here all weekend, right? Yes. You would testify to that? I would take a bullet for you. Oh, that's... I would slit my throat. What? The fuck? Yeah. Stanley Tucci. Rather than say something that you didn't want me to say. That's not necessary. Looking so Jesus. different to what we saw him as last time. Big change from Duff West Prada. I'm never going to go through puberty. I didn't until I was 14. Look. Why does that matter? I'm a duck. What? <laughs> oh my God. Who told you? <laughs> We were gonna do this at the right time. Even when a man and a woman love each other very much, like your mother and I used to. <laughs> Shit. Their insides just don't cooperate. Why do you want us to take a bullet if anyone asks if you were here all weekend? It's just the rumor mill. She really doesn't seem that concerned yet. Well, this is high school. It really is not that big of a deal. It, no, it shouldn't yeah. be that big of a deal. Mm, yeah, that's a good point. I was here all weekend. If it wasn't that big of a deal, this wouldn't be a movie. True. That's the beauty of being a girl in high school. People hear you had sex once and bam, you're a bimbo. Really didn't mean for the lie to put me on the map, but... Are those guys literally following her? I think so. No, okay. wait, no. So... Tactical evasion. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna throw some rhymes. Drop me a beat. What? What? Holy shit. No. Push it up. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. no. Yeah. No. Adultery. Oh. Vengeance. Kill the beat. I'm not gonna rap for you guys, okay? Thank good. Christ. Books you read in class always seem to have some strong connection with whatever drama is going on. Except Huckleberry Finn. I don't know any teenage boys who have ever run away with a big hulking black guy. I mean... I got nothing. I mean, I've never read Huck Finn, so... This girl named Hester Prynne has an affair with a minister, is made to wear a red A for adulterer. Then the town realizes she was too harshly judged, and she dies a saint. Okay. I think Hester Prynne was, excuse my language, a skank. He's just like, you're not excused. You have to attention now. <laughs> don't use that word in my class. Why would I excuse this? So you don't think she was a victim at all? She brought it on herself. 
You've got to be shitting me. Perhaps you should embroider a red A on your wardrobe, you abominable tramp. What the fuck? Get a wardrobe, you abominable twat. Isn't adult oh. adultery cheating? Yeah, it is. She's single. What She's the fuck? not an adulterer. Don't even get in the fucking punishment right, you dumbass. She's just a person. I just hope you at least had the good sense to use protection. Why? Your parents didn't. <laughs> You're going to hell. Just as long as you won't be there. I won't. Hell seems like where all the fun people are going to be. What's wrong with you? A lot, clearly. Language like this would have warranted a visit years ago. This is foul. I know. He's British, so he really knows. Sorry I said it. And sorry I got caught a little bit too. <laughs> Honest. I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, this isn't one of those progressive schools where the students are partners in learning. This is public school. This guy's been through some shit, but also, the other girl called her a skank. <laughs> yeah. How the hell is she not in the principal's office? If I can keep the girls off the pole and the boys off the pipe, I get a bonus. Jesus. Which pipe? I think we know which one. <laughs> we do, but which one? <laughs> Come on, teach. I'm so innocent <laughs> and impressionable. Detention after school tomorrow. So... That's bullshit. Oh my god, the illusion is shattered. This is this exactly why they put you in the gas chamber at Disney World? Actually, I think they just fire you. You're thinking of Disneyland. Disney World is much more liberal. No, I'm pretty sure it's the gas chamber at Disney World. Oh yeah. Please tell me the rumors are true. Yes, I am a big fat slut. Not that one. The one where you got suspended for calling Nina Howell a dick and punching the left tit. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. I worry about the way information circulates at this school. This is Although insane. that is exactly it's... what happens. Yeah, it's super accurate. Please tell me you at least left a mark on the face of hers. <laughs> it's not Drew. What was in the left hand? I was pegged you for a southpaw. Hmm. Can you listen to me for one second, please? Pow! Everyone just projects what they want to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't happen. Yeah, right. Her secret's safe with me, you little sex monkey. This whole thing is her just being like, I feel like things are a certain way, and everyone be like, yeah, it's that way. Totally. She basically said, you definitely did all these things. Tell me about it. Tell yeah. me now. She's yeah, like, no, yeah. I didn't do it. No, you did. Tell me. Like, <laughs> no, but I didn't do it. No, but I definitely know you did. Yeah, it's a little so bit of... So now you're going to tell me about it. I got sent to the principal today. I used in Inappropriate language in English class. What did you say? Let's just say it was an inappropriate word. What letter did the word start with? Ah. He yeah. wants to know. Yeah. Oh, T. Oh, T. T. Oh, they're going to guess. Yeah. T. 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 <laughs> Can you guys just stop saying fucking T over again? T. <laughs> guys, in the head. T. 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 Mouths closed. <laughs> thoughts open. I actually like her parents a lot in this movie. They're oh, really funny. I, I think they're funny, but yeah. please stop saying T. Think British. Tallywhacker. Yeah. <laughs> Frast, nunt. <laughs> You're just saying sounds. Those and, are sounds. And none of those start with T. I know. Oh, yeah, spell it with your P's. Oh, my God. <laughs> so does this have anything to do with the rumor that you mentioned the other night? Yeah. Yeah. Do you need to talk to us about something? Yeah, she should be talking Probably. to you about it. Twit. That's an A, honey. <laughs> I love she just <laughs> tells him anyway. <laughs> what would my punishment have been otherwise? Bed without supper. But I'm already finished. Yeah, I know how. No dating. I do appreciate her parents are yeah. just not taking this seriously at all. Yeah, I know, because they know that it's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to be grounded any more than you know how to ground. That's right. That was some Mean Girls vibes with the parents. <laughs> and I bet that girl was acting exactly what you called her. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I like that dynamic. They're very cool. Yeah. I got a B plus in my spelling test today. Everything has spell check these days. So. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Rough. Where are you from originally? <laughs> what? Aren't there like labor laws against this? Not in high school. The principal's like the captain of the ship in international waters. You can even marry people. Wait, what? I thought you were the bullied. You'd think, but Principal Gibbons is a homophobe, which is why I called him a fascist. So the rumors are true. I don't know what you're talking about. I meant about Gibbons being a fascist. Huh. Nice. So what's with your new look? Haven't you heard? I'm the new school slut. I also heard he gave you crabs. Ew, people suck. Tell me about it. Yeah. Yep. He's not real. <laughs> He's just writing more. I made him up. Wait, you started the rumor? Indirectly? I guess sort of. Or actually, no, not really. No, I didn't. Well, you did. I mean. You, the words came out of your mouth. Yeah. But you're perpetuating it. That's really messed up. Excuse me? Should have just insisted to your friend that. No, it didn't happen. Yeah. You could probably learn something from me, Brando. Are you saying that I should act straight so people will like me? That's groundbreaking. Woof. Calling her out. Marianne Bryant. Maybe that whole Jesus freak thing is an act. No, I think she's just a stuck up Jesus freak. Yeah, same. I've never met one. So no idea what they look like. Unfortunately have. And then you've got to do everything you can to blend in or decide not to care. You can't decide if you're a genius or a lunatic. 
It's the second one. Don't they sort of go hand in hand? She's just doing the best with what's happened. <laughs> you heard any word from George? I told you that was a one night stand. You know, you're being pretty cavalier about this. Aren't you supposed to be like eternally in love with him and shit? Says who? I don't know. No, I'm not. So I could really care less. Randy Carter was telling Vanessa Hodges that you were with three guys in a jacuzzi. Jesus Christ. Sounds like a lot of work. Hold on, you're her best friend. Yeah, if she hasn't you're... told you this, why the fuck are you believing what other people say? And you're doing nothing to stop the rumors about your best friend spreading around. I know. Better than getting it on with some old dude. You said that. Do you know that Brandon kid? Isn't he a homo? Yeah. Oh fuck, it's her ringtone now. <laughs> God damn it. Speak of the devil, hello. I was just talking about you with my friend Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Right. Perpetually angry. Mm. She curses like a small sailor. Mm -hmm. Bit. Mm. Bit, what's bit? Okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bedazzling personality, beautiful soul. Big tits. Oh. That's my identifier? Yes! Sure, let's roll with that. Fair enough. You should talk to me about something. Oh, you know what? That actually probably was the thing. Because she doesn't seem like an outward bitch. Yeah. She just seems like she's reckless. Yeah. The next day, things took a turn for the scandalous. A lady's choice and a gentleman's agreement. This is a fast-paced movie. True that. Hi, is there an olive here? There's a whole jar of them in the fridge. <laughs> Fucking knew she was going to go for that. Kitty, come on in. Any friend of olives is a friend of our daughter's. Well, that's true, because... All right. <laughs> There's a young man here to see you asking for your hand in marriage. I thought I was going to have to spend my diary on booze and pills to numb the loneliness. <laughs> Fair enough. What's that? Olive has a boy in her room. <gasps> don't have the booze and the pills together. Yeah, don't do that. that. That's all I'm saying. Do you want to go out with me? What? I mean, like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh. Oh, yeah. You said I should pretend to be straight. Yeah, I didn't mean with me. You're not really uh my type yeah you're not really my type either yeah <laughs> do you want to have sex with me or not oh my god what holy crap you completely missed the point of that no i know what you were saying i'm very confused you know that i didn't really have sex with the college guy so you're saying i should just say i had sex with someone yes i mean I the thing guess. is it's, it's different no way wait, no stop. oh she's gonna do it absolutely yeah. not are you serious we could help each other out no how you want to maintain this floozy facade how do you know i like being thought of as a floozy because at least you're being thought of uh, oh i see one good imaginary bonk you are on crack it could be anything imaginary butterbean lemon squeeze cowbell i don't it, know what any of that means yeah i'm confused why there's so many names for it this is not the answer i'll pay you whatever you want i don't want your money what the fuck jeez why don't you just make someone up who's going to believe me oh he's a smart guy cool mm. you don't understand how hard it is we can sit and fantasize about how things are going to be different one day but this is today and it sucks yeah that is fair so please just help me i always hated getting that in school the mm. one day it'll be better like yeah but now it's terrible i don't do anything mm. half-assed It'll have to be a public event. Oh, you're going to go full ass into this one? And you have to do everything I say and tell everyone that I am sensational. Thank you, thank you. Make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. I mean, I feel like he doesn't really have to live with the consequences. Yeah, it's her. For a guy, if you got laid, it's just like, sweet. If someone corroborates the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. They believe it, then it's just, hey, you're a stud. But for her, it's, you're a slut. Brandon and I showed up when it was in full swing, and we put on a little show. Oh, man. Hey, Olive and Brandon. What's up? What? <laughs> Off to a great start. That is how you act, yes. Listen, here's the set. Melody Bastet. What are you doing? Brandon was just in the middle of telling me this really funny thing. And I was wondering if um, there's like a room where we could go, if you know what I mean. You can use my room. Why would you let them use your room? Some people don't care. Fair. Brandon? Give him a bullet. Did everyone literally just stop to stare at them? Everyone, yeah, yeah. Notice how everyone I know, just it's lined a path. up. Oh, and now they're all gonna follow them to the room. What are you doing? Relax. What is with you gays? What do you think I have down there? A gnome? I would assume yes. <laughs> yes, he is. A little protective gnome. Now she's hang right, so that no one can look through. Yeah. What is that, lavender? But also when they do look through, that's what they see. Yeah. Can you come here, please? Hey, the doors are closed. He can admire it if he wants. And make it convincing. Oh my god, so now they. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude! Runt. Oh, stop! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! <laughs> Brother! Okay, it's... he. Oh! My guy! Oh, fuck! 
Jesus, why? That is the last thing I wanted. I would be so scared if I was listening on the other side of the door. Yeah. Like, my God, what? she's killing him. <laughs> that's oh. more accurate. <laughs> no, that's less accurate. Stop that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, what the fuck? I don't know, it just sounds like he's trying to take a shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take you from the back. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna make people think you're straight. <laughs> yeah. Well. Never mind that. Cause oh. I'm a straight guy. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Roar. <laughs> I gotta say, in both cases, they sound like they're kind of jokingly making sex sounds. <laughs> Hear that? What do you say? Do you smell that? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to smell? I don't know. You're not supposed to comment on it. It doesn't yeah, really smell that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the grand finale? Yeah. What? <laughs> Finishes it off. I do have to say though, like even in high school when I was still a virgin, I don't think I would have believed this. No way. At all. Go forth, my son. Really? You're a man now. That's not how long it takes to put clothes back on. I yeah. guess he could have mostly not taken them off. Seriously. Thanks. Uh, yeah, but seriously, guys, if you want to make it convincing. Don't make it super loud and obnoxious like that. Honestly, at parties and stuff, most people, the sex is not that wild. Yeah, I know. Well, everyone's wasted, so. Yeah. <laughs> I've had house parties where people were having sex and no one knew about well, it. Well, yeah, most of the time you don't know about it. That's, <laughs> yeah. They're trying to be discreet. I'll be walking funny tomorrow. By the way. Yeah, why would, no, man. <laughs> why, why would you be walking? Okay, I know. What are you doing here? I thought you were at your cousin's rehearsal dinner. Quick rehearsal. I only had one line. I don't know him. Oof, that was a joke. What from? I don't know. He looks familiar. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going? You know, I'm here. Can I get you a beer? That rhymed. I liked it. So this is Woodchuck guy, huh? Yeah. I think. Oh my God. <laughs> straight away, she cops the shit, whereas he gets a fucking parade. Absolutely. I'm gonna go. Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does she not realize how things are going to go for her reputation? I think she knew. She just wanted to be a good friend. Maybe this is going to sound stupid. It's not like I was expecting fireworks, but I always thought pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more, um, I don't know, special. Oh. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. Or maybe not. She honestly didn't think that she was going to get hella slut shamed. Yeah. That boy from yesterday just dropped this off for you. Put it in the pile of gifts for my other suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed a little incredibly gay. Yeah. <laughs> your father and I are totally supportive. Mom knows. We love you no matter what the sexual orientation of your sex partner. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a homosexual once for a long time. Tell me you did not marry and have children with him. <laughs> no. Uh, your father is as straight as they come. Is Stanley Tucci straight? I don't know. Huh. Because he's played both straight and gay characters. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I like that her parents feel like real people. Yeah. But I would not like to have her parents as my parents. Oh no. In case you don't shop at Target, then you can go screw yourself. Oh god, Brandon got her a dildo. Is it true you got with Brandon at Melody Dipshit's party? Uh, is that what people are saying happened? The dog's chewing it. Oh. That's true. Just because you lost your virginity doesn't mean you can go around throwing your cat at everybody. You can throw your cat at whoever you want. I had to hear from Jackie Rudetsky. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Wait, are you really making this about you right now? Of course, it's been about her from the start. You're kind of pissing me off a little more than usual. I'm sorry, it's a best friend's duty to let her know that everyone is calling her a dirty skank. Hold on. Do you think I'm a dirty skank? I didn't want to believe it, but I guess it's true. Wow. And you're a jealous virgin. She'd never hidden her true colors. Yeah. She's kind of been this person from the start. Yeah. Uh, I'd be the dirtiest skank they'd ever seen. And now she's just gonna lean fucking hard. The reputation. If you actually don't care what people think of you and like whatever, then yeah, do the thing. Who gives a shit? Oh, yeah. It's all a matter of just how much you care about how other people are going to treat you. Yeah. Because if you can put up with other people's bullshit, then... Oh, yeah, go hard. Sounds like you're having sex in here, which I know can't be true. Do you have a homosexual boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. No judgment. What travels fast. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> I was gay once for a while. Wait, what? For a while? We all do it. It's okay. 
<laughs> um, actually, we don't all do that. <laughs> Look how she just fucking went with the A, though. Oh, yeah. Go hard. It is one of the better things to do when people talk shit about you. Just I'll lean, lean into, into it. it and don't care. Oh, absolutely. Because they're going to talk shit one way or another. What's your problem? You really want to know what my problem is? No. I don't want to know anything from you. She's yep. got a lot of problems and has nothing to do with Olive. Pretty much. We are officially over. Oh, rats. And also, you're mad at her because she didn't tell you? Well, because she slept around, I, supposedly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, what are you angry about? Yeah. Really? What is your actual fucking problem? Very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He knows this bullshit. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he believes any of this. Yeah. Don't forget tomorrow's Earth Day. <laughs> Just that look at his face. Like, yeah. Mm, this is not going to go well. Yeah. We have a problem. Olive Pendergast. We need to pray for her. We also need to get her the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm sure you guys heard what happened at Melody Bostick's party. I heard the whole thing. Why? I tried to witness to her, but this girl is defiant to any type of help. So you tried to what to who? To her? Does anybody here think they can talk to her in a way that might get her to see what she's doing is wrong? Man. It's okay. I'm sorry, you guys. It's so crazy. There are people out there who literally do act like this. Oh, yeah. Like, the things you do in your life is wrong, and we need you to not behave that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know about it. Yeah. This doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever, but, you know. Yeah. Make God a promise that we will remain pure and chaste until marriage. Manta Bynes plays a really good fucking villain, though. Oh, yeah, she does. I love you guys. Now let's change lives today. Maybe don't. Somehow I feel like it's not going to be for the better. So hard they Sell it, man. Damn. Go. This guy really wanted another acting role after this. <laughs> oh, holy crap. <laughs> Got paid that rent. <laughs> I will not go back to being a waiter. <laughs> you left for grass slipper at the party the other night. Say lovey. Lovey. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was good. Wow. It sucks because we could have revisited Melody's bedroom. That was Melody Bostick's house. Yeah. Well, yeah, come on. Who doesn't remember their first almost kiss? Oh, I see. Evan. Hey, what's rocking? Uh, Brandon told me what you did for him. He told me the truth. I was just hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Brandon, what's the point if you're then you gonna just... tell someone? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, I can pay you. <sighs> I am about six seconds away from slapping you. Dude. You so hard, your teeth will bleed. Idiot. Can you do it in front of everyone? Jesus. Dude. I don't need your permission, you know. What the fuck? Yeah. I just don't see how people will not believe it. That doesn't make it okay. I'll give you a hundred bucks. You are repugnant. Duh, that's the problem. Fucking moron. Sorry I asked. No, you're not. Is he even trying to, like, convince everyone he's straight? Just a fat piece of shit. No. No, he just can't get a date. When will high school end already? Oh, shit. Stop. I want a $100 gift card. We did not have sex. I let you fondle my chest, and it was a glorious moment for you. God damn. But wait a minute. A hundred bucks for second base? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that seem a little steep? If anyone hears this conversation... I know. This is somewhere else. What are you, nine? Whatever. Deal, then. Thanks, Olive. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the sad thing is, Evan, if you've been a gentleman, maybe asked me on a date, I might have said yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit late for that, dude. You want to go out with me? Oh, dude, dude. come on. God. She said if. If Bruh. you had been a gentleman, it's too late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that up. The rumor I was soliciting sex for money spread around the school faster. Yes. Yep. That's exactly what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Well, exactly what I did just say. Yeah. Of course that spread around school. You were discussing payment for sexual stuff at a public pool at school. Like everyone else is just walking around you. Yeah, I guess that's the point. He didn't even need to say anything. Yeah. But fuck this. Like yeah. sure, some rumors and shit got around in my school, but not like this. I was open for business. And whether I liked it or not, I had a lot of customers. I went to all boys school, so... I got $50 so that Eric Link could say we got it on during chemistry. But hang on. During chemistry? $90 so Brian Dukes could tell people Hold I showed on, him mine, but he did not show me his. At what point is it going to be like too many people know? I know. Wouldn't they then like talk to each other? I mean, yeah. No. no they they're they teenage wouldn't. boys. They're like, so oh yeah, they we would, all totally yeah. get it. It's just a room of 20 dudes. <laughs> yeah. None of them have slept with her. And yeah, yeah, like, they're like, yeah. yeah, yeah, she was. She oh, was great. Yeah. It was fucking oh. sick, bro. Bro. Oh, bro. How good is that thing she does at the end? Uh, oh, know, yeah. The thing. I thought she just did it with me. She did it with you too. What? Oh, that's fucking sick, bro. So good. Fucking up, uh, Yeah. <laughs> 20% off. Is that how much our imaginary tryst meant to you? <laughs> It's all they can afford. Aww. I knew he wasn't Latino, but all these shady backdoor deals had me talking like Carlito. Beat it, is it? 
Okay. Jesus. <laughs> what? Whatever happened to chivalry? Does it only exist in 80s movies? For real, though. I mean, if he's poor, that's kind of rough. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> so brutal. I want to ride off on a lawnmower with Patrick Dempsey. Fair enough. I want yeah. Judd Nelson. Well, you No, you don't want Judd Nelson. No, you don't want Judd Nelson. Just to be clear. Yeah. Or the Bender character. Bender, yeah, 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 Bender. I don't know enough about Judd Nelson. Mm. But. Yeah. With a really awesome musical number for no apparent reason. Look, we all want a musical number for no reason. Yeah, that's... No, I don't. No, fuck that. You say that. I'm out. You say that, but still. No, I'd be out. <laughs> Instead of all that, I get to save 15 cents on a bottle of Juniper Breeze antibacterial gel. Okay, that is pretty shit, actually. Yeah. This brings us to part four. How I went from assumed trollop to an actual home wrecker. Okay, that's mm -hmm. interesting. You wanted to see me? I did. Why don't you come in here? Whose home are you reckon? It's not his, is it? Don't tell me. I think you're taking your assignment a little bit too seriously. I was really hoping to get an A. She's not an uh, adulterer, so... I know. Still not an adulterer. Yeah, that part <laughs> is still point. bugging me. I'm hearing some rumors. Those are true. I am considering becoming an existentialist. You know what I'm talking about. Gotta appreciate students who know their students. When did uh, teachers become privy to idle adolescent gossip? When everyone is putting everything on Facebook... Roman bought a Coke Zero at the gas station. Who gives a rat's ass? Yeah, this is why we don't use Facebook. Yeah. Ah, oh, that Roman. Incorrigible. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Roman. You should consider giving me extra credit. I'm really attempting to understand this puritanical ostracism. You are one of the few that read the book. I can see that. Yeah. If I read one more paper who talks about how hot she is in the bathtub, or is she still married to Ashton Kutcher, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> it's a bit extreme, but fair. Poor bastard. I want to apologize for sending you to the principal's office. I wanted to be cheering with the rest of the students. I don't know what it is about Nina. I hate her. <laughs> I'm glad you can say that, yeah. although I feel like you shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's not allowed to, but <laughs> yeah. it's true. Hi, Mrs. Griffith. Exactly. There she is. Hey. I've never seen that girl before in my life. I'm the guidance counselor. I should know all the students. Oh, uh, that makes sense. She should be uh. guiding young minds, you know? Yeah. Do me a favor, then. Just talk to her. Oh, wait. That's not the girl everyone's talking about, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It is. That's the one. All right. You know that Jesus freak office aide I have has been bitching about her incessantly. Jesus Christ. I love that everyone hates them. <laughs> yeah. They're all lies, but she could use somebody to talk to anyway. Well, that you know, accurate. it doesn't matter if it's Jesus or anything else. If you oh, try yeah. to force your opinions on someone, it's not going to go well. I have an after school session. Kid brought a knife to school. It was a butter knife. But you know what they say. You know, it's a gateway knife. <laughs> First butter, then what? Margarine. That's right. I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if anything, she could comment about like sexual nature of shoving him in there. Get him nice and sharp. Look at you. <gasps> so sharp. I don't understand what she's trying to do here, though. I know. She's sharp, like, sharp, sharp. yeah. Ooh. How do you like it when I sharpen this, huh? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> like, um, no. Unless she just turned around and was like, I'm going to shiv you with each of these. <laughs> the reason I called you in was there's concern from a few faculty members. Your husband. One <laughs> faculty member. Didn't even realize that was like allowed. Don't look at me. If there's something that you want to talk about, you know, you can trust me. I don't think she wants to talk about it. If I uh, open up to you, do you promise this stays in confidence? Oh, she does want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. I'm the guidance counselor. That's what I do. It feels like a lot of shit's gone down. I have a reputation to uphold. Don't you, though? No. <laughs> Rude. Don't tell anyone I'm doing this, please. Oh, condoms. I really don't need those. Oh, you really do. Oh. I mean, yeah, you don't, but you do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just don't want this thing you're going through to define your life. I mean, to be clear, even if you're none of the things people think, do still have condoms. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do what you gotta do, okay? Just make sure you have an exit strategy. Yeah, fuck as many people as you want. Just make, don't be dumb about it. The pill is not 100% effective. Ask some of your friend's parents. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can you just send in the next person? Mm -hmm. So she didn't really talk to her. Yeah, didn't really talk about anything. No guidance there at all. You're up, Hoss. Everything's gonna be okay. This is clearly a 30-something-year-old dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think it's a little strange that your boyfriend is 22 years old and still in high school? Oh, oh okay. He actually is supposed to be a somewhat adult, so that's mm. fair. He is here by choice. It's his choice that he can't pass any test he takes at all? Oh, shit. His choice. His choice. Capital H. Oh my God. Uh, if God wanted him to graduate, God would have given him the right answers. Wow. That is some high level excuse. So why was he blubbering like a baby? His parents are going through a divorce. 
Are you fake crying? Okay. Um. No, I think she's actually dramatic. <laughs> and she thinks that a divorce is that big of a deal. Oh. You know, uh... But aren't like half the kids at the school from homes of divorce? Yeah, but she's religious. Right. Mrs. Griffith is amazing. She's gonna help Micah and everything's gonna be okay. Yay! That's the spirit. <laughs> oh what? God. This is weird. Wait, why are you even being so nice to me? Cause she's not a bitch. She's like, I don't know, why not? She's a cool person. I did it. I got through to you. No. Oh boy. Uh, oh. I'm so so sorry. Oh. I really want us to be friends. Oh. What? Absolutely. That's the other thing I hate about those kinds of people is oh, then totally. when something good does happen, it's like, oh, this was my fault. Wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of starting to think things are gonna turn around. Yeah, I mean, I don't care in which way she's crazy. This girl is definitely crazy. Oh yeah. What's up with her parents? You always gotta wonder, right? By second period, we had private jokes. Huh? Okay, I really didn't see this coming. Yeah, yeah. Tragedy struck in Woodshop. And it wasn't because someone sawed off a thumb. My God, it's Jesus, don't do that with the blade there. In the hospital. The nurse didn't know what was wrong. Seriously, there is still a moving blade right there. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Fuck. yeah. Leave room for Jesus. It hurts so bad, mommy. Well, it's chlamydia. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Who have you been screwing? Tell me now. That makes sense. That's exactly what I fucking thought was gonna happen. Oh, Pendergast! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh no. Oh, Pendergast. And you can see the kind of parents. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Wow. Nope. Oh. Me. oh. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. What was I supposed to say? And then my mom tells Marianne's mom. Is he gay too? I, I, no. I thought maybe he was trying to cover Blake. It's it, this girl. I have to tell them. Wait, hang on a second. I love you and nobody can stop yeah. us. No. Not my yep. mother. No. Not Marianne. Yep. No. Or the president of the Americas. The Americas. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yep. And that's why he had to be 22. Right. What do you want? Gosh, she's a terrible guidance counselor. I'm sorry. I was looking for Marianne. And, yeah. And the partner. Because she just smacked the bejesus out of me. No, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I, I messed up. Okay, I just goddamn shit bad. At least she had the sense to apologize. At least she's taking ownership of it right now. I give her that. Mm. I don't think you're supposed to use that kind of language in front of a student. I don't think this is the time. Yeah, you know what else you're not supposed to do is sleep with them. Yeah. Oh. I'm not judging you or anything, but oh my god. I mean, I'm judging a little bit. A little bit. The fact that he's 22 is a little different, yeah, but yeah, it's no. still cheating. Also, he's a student. He You're a, a guidance student. counselor. Yeah. So. He's not a minor. This is legal. And then he finds out that he has chlamydia. So then he's telling everybody that it was you. He's not the sharpest Christian in the Bible. Oh. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to tell everyone that it's me. Wow. Okay. I'll lose my job and whatever else. I respect her for but trying to take responsibility. She's here. earning it. Yeah. I could have chlamydia. Yeah. Oh, I had a feeling. You're just taking the fall for everyone. Oh, yeah. See, that adds up. I could have easily given it to Micah. The whole world knows I've been whoring around. No, you haven't. A real whore can't admit it to herself, much less others. Ugh. Um. I get what, she's, she, what she I, means, I do, but yeah. Yeah, you don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh, dude. There's only so many swords you can fall on. Yeah, this is bullshit. I shouldn't be too shocked. These people wanted my diseased ass out of there. Uh, Although, you gotta love the Quiznos guy. Yeah. Jesus. I do love the Quiznos guy. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to make the school a better place. Wow, for real? Chicken to Quiznos. Not now, Quiznos. <laughs> You're a slut. Oh. This is because I'm more popular than you. Well, let's You're not mistake it. popularity for infamy. I mean, she's right. She's right, but fuck off, Ree. I completely agree, yeah. You okay? I'm awesome. Screw all these people. Haven't you heard? I already did. I don't think he cares one way or the other. He totally doesn't, yeah. but I could understand if she just thought like, oh, it's just a little bit of notoriety, whatever. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Of course, people are going to be shitty about it, but... You know people suck. I guess... I mean, maybe uh, she does Some people don't realize just okay. how much they can suck. You know what I will say is her parents are so cool. Maybe she honestly yeah. doesn't realize how shitty people are. Yeah. I'll give her that. That's 
probably is a thing. Yeah, I would say. I had never felt more alone. Can I help you with something? The Bible. That's in bestsellers, right next to Twilight. <laughs> Naturally. I didn't have time to read the whole thing. As every war that's ever been fought can tell you, there are many ways you can interpret it. Except the Civil War. That was pure racism. Yes. Hey. Thank you. So I went to find an expert. But really, I just kind of wanted someone to talk to. You know what? I wouldn't blame you if you just wanted some time alone. But if you wanted someone to talk to, man, like her parents would have been a way better option than this shit. I'm really just going off what yeah. I've seen in movies. You're close with your parents, too. I've been pretending to be, what is the Catholic way of phrasing this? Harlot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I've actually been doing the things that people have been saying I've been doing, but I'm not denying them either. So I was just wondering, is that wrong? I don't know if wrong is the right word. Not really, no. I don't think so. They've been asking me to do things and I thought it was okay because it wasn't real. Literally from the get-go, this is something that other people have been pushing onto her. Mm, yeah, absolutely. She just kind of rolled with it. Yeah. No one was getting hurt, but... You didn't think that you wouldn't get hurt? A lot of people hate me now. I kind of hate me too. Ah. I mean, that's a bit far. You haven't actually done anything wrong to screw anyone over. I might be wrong, but... You're trying to be a good person. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to say something? Yeah. There's no one there. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Tell me to say ten Hail Marys. Hello? Yeah, there's literally no one there. Uh, Should have seen that one coming. Yeah. I did. Telling. There's no one there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> I went to find one with a real-life human being. Fair enough. I was just wondering if there's a minister around. A reverend. A wizard. It's a pastor and he's here. <laughs> a wizard. <laughs> oh my god. I was just wondering what your church's stance on lying and adultery was. It's not a good thing. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Domison. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Assuming there is a hell. Oh, the Christian church recognizes the existence of hell. So we'll just say there's a hell. There is. Okay, so for argument's sake. No, there's no argument. Yeah, dude. It's there. Why do you keep talking to him as if he's an atheist? He clearly isn't. Yeah. What would be worse? Or is lying about adultery just like double whammy? Sorry. Come on. Oh, dude. Whoopsie. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna. This, of this, all the churches. Naturally. This, oh, sorry. What is wrong with you? I had unwittingly sought advice from the father of the leader of my lynch mob. Yeah. The other Bolin girl or the bucket list. And her parents blissfully unaware. Yep. Everything's fine at school, right, I honey? I guess you would kind of want to maintain some bit of normality at home. Of course. You can understand that. Remember to cross watch the bucket list off our bucket list. <laughs> I just want you to know that if you hear around town that I have chlamydia, that is totally false. That's... Do we need to have the talk? That's the whole conversation you're going to have with them? I suppose so. It's just a thing that's going around. Nothing you're saying is making me feel any better. Yeah. You... yeah. Not to mention, you kind of look like a stripper. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> a high-end stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I have no STDs, I promise you. Daughter of the year. Yeah. You're kind of starting to worry us a little. For real, tell them the whole story, I'll tell them nothing. Yeah. Should we be kind of worried? I don't think so. I guess they trust her because they know she's smart. No, I get it, but yeah. seriously. Yeah, no, she should just talk to them. I got it all under control. You do not. You Not at all. You literally turn to God. To say this whole thing had taken over my life would be a colossal understatement. Yeah. I actually reread the Scarlet Letter and it turns out she bore her punishment in humble silence. Silence, which are two concepts I am not comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with all the mythical play I was getting, no one bothered really trying to sleep with me. Yeah, that is odd. That would be so shit. I'm surprised no one's actually honestly tried. Until finally. I was wondering uh, if you maybe want to go out or something. Oh, isn't that Ray's boyfriend? Mm. What did you have in mind? Is it? I was thinking about getting okay. a hot air balloon, no. bringing along some champagne. I thought they were just friends. Hmm. I thought he was just a guy. Or we could just go to the lobster shack. I love the lobster shack. Good. I've really always wanted to go since watching this movie. Okay, it's a date then. We don't have a lobster shack here, do we? I know, no. Yeah. No. I did go to the shell shack in Dallas. Good? Yes. Mm. I ate way too much Diablo shrimp. Cool. All right. Well. Cool. Is there really? such thing yes there is. <laughs> <laughs> you found the line between heaven and hell you look really beautiful thank you i thought she's accessorizing the a yep little sequins and everything you're a real gentleman nah just a guy having dinner with a girl with the most 2010 haircut i've ever seen for real yeah what Did yeah he's the first person to actually ask her out on a date yeah but he's just sitting there staring at her Use words, man. This whole thing about lobster being an aphrodisiac. Anything. Guys just spend to ply women with food they think is going to get them lucky, which is funny because what is sexy about slurping back oysters? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really always found that weird. And honestly, a full stomach is not what I want 
when I go to hook up with someone. I know, right? Oh, I can feel the food sloshing around in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Literally, sometimes when you move around, you hear the bloop. Yeah. Bloop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not into that. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> like two water balloons going at it. Spanish fly. Oh. You've heard of this? Yes? Yes. Pulverized blister beetle. What? And it's legal in the U.S. This guy was not expecting it to be this smart. Am I talking too much? No, no, no. You're just burning through a lot of topics really fast. <laughs> Lobster with seafood stuffing. Oh, yum. It does sound great. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Thank you. Mm. Also, she does seem really high energy. I think she's just nervous. Hope you're happy, happy birthday. Hey, is that? <laughs> yes, that's uh, Todd. Todd works here. Right. Todd. I said hip, hip, happy, hip, hip, happy birthday, hip, hip, happy birthday. Oh, and Ray's there. Shit. What, 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 what's wrong? Three and so? So she's been in love with you since first grade. So? <gasps> oh. oh. I thought you two weren't speaking. But that doesn't mean that I should be out but, with you. But Ree and I don't have anything in common. And you and I do. Oh. I hate Marianne Bryant too. If that's our connection, I should just date the entire school. Haven't you? Oof. Oh, Dick. yeah. That's a fucking difficult one. Your friend likes this person oh, a yeah, lot. Yeah, but they're not into them. But they're not into them. Yeah. And they're into you, but it's yeah. like... Ooh. Yeah. Probably shouldn't, but yeah. at the same time, it's kind of like... Well, then they're just not going to go with either of us. No. No, I haven't. Happy birthday to you. Okay, she can't see us. Check, check, check. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, dude. Especially given their current relationship. I am so allergic to shellfish. And how shitty mm -hmm. she's been to her. I can understand her not wanting to deal with the drama of the fallout. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, too late. Yeah, it is too late. Yeah, seriously. And the fact that you're leaving together. Yeah, I am. Like, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. As soon as you realized if you didn't want to get caught, one of you leaves straight away, the second one pays. Maybe yeah. you share the bill or whatever, but yeah, yeah, yeah. meet up outside the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got something for you. $200 to the Home Depot. Oh. Yeah. Bam. Dude. I didn't realize this was a... I know it sounds kind of lame, but I bought my air compressor there. Oh, my. Should have led with that, man. Yeah. So what did we do on this date? Whatever 200 bucks gets me. Mm. Mm. Dude. It's not really how it works. It's okay. Yeah. What are you fucking doing? Stop. I'm not having sex with people it's for okay. money. Dude. Stop. What? No. What? Stop. She just Dude. said no. Okay, this is 100% assault. What the fuck oh, are you doing? Yeah. Come on, just relax. What the fuck? Asshole. She's pushed oh. you off so many times. Fucking good thing Ray didn't get with him, I guess. What are you doing? I paid you. Are no, you, you fucking didn't. serious? No, you didn't. Yeah, fuck off, man. Dude. Come on, this is bullshit. Gross. Oh. Todd, help me. Are you all right? I just have something in my eye. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah, it's a bit of sexual assault. Olive, let me drive you home. So far throughout all of this, he's definitely not being judgy at any point, so nope. I'm appreciating that. That's cool. Do you want to talk about it? Everybody thinks I'm a whore. I'm starting to believe it. What? Don't act like you don't know what people are saying about me. I know what people are saying. Doesn't mean I believe them. Yeah. Right? One person in the school has some sense. Once upon a time, there was a scared little kid who was not ready for his first kiss. I still can't believe I remember that. Oh, that's yeah, why yeah. he's been skeptical. He's yeah. like, I know you're willing to do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I pretend you were my first real kiss. Who was? It was Rhiannon. What? She must have told you. No. I think it was like a, a year after that or something. It sucked. Oh way. my god. Oh. Wow. She knew how I felt about you. Wait, how do you feel about oh. it? <laughs> He's like, wait, hang on. I'm so Yeah. You feel what about it? Hold on a second. How uh how do you feel about it? <laughs> Whoa, rewind. Felt. I said felt. Oh, oh come on, dude. Thought I feel. No, it's felt. Oh, oh, come on, man, that back out of it. Because it's not really the best time. Definitely not the best time. I think you're pretty and smart. What did you form this opinion prior to my little transformation? Way prior. I like to keep my business to myself. Notoriety never seems to benefit the noted. It's only the notees. Ugh. True. True story. Where were you two weeks ago? <laughs> this all happened in two weeks? Jesus. Holy shit. If I promise not to tell anyone, could I kiss you right now? No. Okay, okay. So Oh, no, 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 I just mean not like this. Yeah, it's not yeah. super romantic. It's just not the time. I've wanted to kiss you since eighth grade, and right now my life is a mess. I need to get my business in order before I drag you into it. You know what? What if I told you I want to be dragged into it? This is the most chill, like, beginnings of a teenage relationship I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah. Where they're both just like, 
Yeah, I've wanted to kiss you for a while. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Same, bro. <laughs> Dude, we should totally kiss sometime. Maybe at a better time than this, but yeah, I'm Pen feeling it. Pencil me in for next Tuesday? Feel yeah, it? that works. Why now? Why are you all of a sudden into me now? Yeah, what took you so long? I don't know. It's a good question. I haven't overanalyzed it like you're about to. <sighs> good night, Olive. Good night, Lobster Todd. <laughs> the lies had to stop, and I knew there was only one person I could count on to set the story straight. Brandon. I'd helped him, and I knew he'd help me. Woody? Did you hear that Brandon ran away from home? Oh. What? He left his parents to know that, and then he skipped out with some big, hulking black guy. Uncle Barry Finn. <laughs> My apologies to Mark Twain. <laughs> huh? What? He said something. We were talking, so he said something, so I came back. You're funny. Call me. Okay. Well, who was this person? I have no idea. I went to everyone I'd helped. I gave you money. You gave me a gift card. Uh, Please do this for me, all right? I did that for you. Do this for me. This ass. Yeah. Do you know how many girls I've hooked up with because of that? Well, then. Girls are almost as dumb as boys. Oh, God. Gross. What the fuck? Yeah, what a dick. Micah was sent on an extended visit to his grandparents. All of life is full of choices. I made a bad one, but then so did you. Oh. Oh, wow. Now we just have to let it ride. Or I could just tell everyone the truth and get you fired and put in jail. Yeah. He is of age. It's perfectly legal in the state of California. Oh, she's made a total fucking 180 on this. Let's play the who would you believe game. Because now she's done freaking out and she's comfortable with the lie now. Who would you believe, huh? Who would you believe? Who? Jesus Christ. Yeah, wow. you, you're a great choice for a guidance counselor. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I forgot how fucking terrible she turned out to be. Mrs. Griffith was pure evil, but I still shouldn't have done what I did. Your wife has chlamydia, and she's sleeping with a student, and she gave it to him, and she's trying to blame me. Oh. What? That is so much to lay on someone in one Dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was not cool. I appreciate oh. that you've realized what you've done immediately, but it's too late. Yeah. Mr. Griffith, if you ever see this, I was wrong to tell you that. I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, like, he has a right to know, but not like that. With my words, even though they were true, I ended a marriage. Yeah. So now everyone that knows the truth is either gone or they won't fess up. Okay, thank God she finally talked to her parents about it. I know, right? Fucking finally. I had a similar situation when I was your age. What? Seriously? People said awful things about me. Why? Because I was a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I slept with a whole bunch of people. Do me a favor and just stuff this down my throat until I asphyxiate to death. It's true. I, and I was quite the contortionist. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Can you get to the heart the of the details? story? Details? Yeah. Why? You're much smarter than I am. So you'll come out of this much better than I did. Uh, yo. God, her parents are great, though. Yeah, her parents are great. Mm. And it's true, though. Later on, all this shit is so inconsequential. Oh, yeah. This is so true. Mm. And that's why I decided to do this webcast. Part five. <laughs> Todd convinced the band to play the sexiest song in their repertoire. I had one outfit left and about 30 seconds to do it. That's oh. great. Plus, I really wanted my own awesome musical number. So her and Todd planned this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sexy band song. This is an interesting plan. Ah, <laughs> uh, Todd. She's gonna knock on wood because he's wood. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's all kinds of wood and beaver jokes here. Hope <laughs> that they managed to work a musical number into this. Indeed. Good thing she's such a good performer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I like that as a euphemism. Oh man, she pulled my trombone. <laughs> this was just a free preview. Log on to www.freeolive. Come on, would you rather be here cheering on the woodchucks or watch me do one? As if the principal wouldn't have jumped. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank you, doing young lady. Get to my office right now. You can't, because I have a date with the guy I like and the rest of the school. You might want to talk to Mrs. Griffith, because I think she might talk you into letting me stay. Go play down! Really? Yeah. I see. Well, fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, dude, Griffith is trash. And here you all are paying me to lie for you. It was just like Hester, except that's the one thing the movies don't tell you. How shitty it feels to be an outcast. I mean... Warranted or not. I would like to think that you would think that being an outcast would suck, though. I mean, there's plenty of people who think it's just really cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah, everyone thinks being an outcast is cool yeah. until you are one. That's true. My yeah. bad. How did you know I love this song? I guess. I love the fucking speakers. Jesus. Yep. Screw them. They've had enough of you. Figuratively speaking. However, Todd, you could have sprung for a subwoofer. I borrowed my neighbor's mower. Came right over. There's no bass, my guy. Yeah. It's bumming me out. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the bass, Todd? Where's the bass? <laughs> Not that I owe you guys any more confessions, but I really like this guy. I might even lose my virginity to him. <laughs> I don't know when it'll happen. Tonight, or six months from now, or maybe on our wedding night. It is nobody's goddamn business. See? They totally did discuss getting married already. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, where's she going? I thought she was going to take her clothes off. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> Jack? Yeah, I don't think he's, uh... Yeah. I don't think he's got anything for you. None of chat and mood. I really don't think Olive needs to apologize for anything, yeah. to be honest. I really don't think that Rhiannon deserves any kind of apology here. That's a mighty snug little shelter, Huck. Oh my god. Here, Jim, I'll take my turn. Oh, it's Huck Finn. <laughs> Is it? Wow. I like Steve. Oh my god! <laughs> of course. Oh, that's so golden. Much. I do appreciate that Todd seems to be exactly who I thought he was the entire time. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I like that they showed his character through his inaction. Whenever things are going on, he didn't make faces. Yeah, he didn't, didn't make jokes. Didn't he make didn't comments. He didn't really do anything. He just kind of saw it and was like, oh yeah. Huh, that seems kind of weird, but he's like, all right. He's literally just like, oh, things happening. Hmm, Fair sure. Enough. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, it's the whole point is that it's like, not his business. Yeah. Not anyone's business. Go appreciate it. I do think that was a pretty good movie. Yeah, no, I like yeah. that one. I don't remember liking it when I saw it in the cinemas. I'm still a little incredulous to the amount of, like, I didn't think this was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But aside from that. Yeah. I yeah. think at the same time, we got more experience. Yeah. You know? And I do like the overall message of, like, who fucking cares? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you know honestly, what I mean? Really, who the fuck does? Yeah. As long as you're not screwing anyone over yeah as long as you're not being sh like an asshole yeah this doesn't fucking matter absolutely <laughs> one 100 just stay safe and get tested yeah you know, yeah. that's it that's just, all don't, just don't fuck anyone around you'd be good <laughs> just you know what i mean just don't be a dickhead yeah exactly. <laughs> period just, just don't be disrespectful yeah <laughs> simple you know anyway that was fucking great yeah so uh, i would like to think that we can get to bring it on for the next video because obviously we tried to do it for yeah. this one i don't know how it's gonna go fingers crossed we will try if not not bring it on then uh maybe practical magic we were discussing yeah or confessions of a teenage drama queen that yeah, that's right on the list for a yes while. so one of those three movies obviously we'll figure it out soon we'll let you guys know yeah but until then you be with sam stuff and we're the movie buds, buds.